Let's make a contact form. Let's close the home page. Let's open up the contact page. And oh, we got to put the image right there. The body image. Open up uh, about page. I think it's unlocked here. Copy that and paste. Put that in here. And then press shift and drag it, and we'll see how that previews. Let's see if it works good. Beautiful. All right, let's close the about page and the home page. Let's open up the layers panel. Go to layer one. That is with lock layer one. Let's go to layer two. Let's open up a widget. Go to forms. Simple contact. Drag and drop. That's good. I have to click on the layers. Unlock this background layer. And shift it up. Beautiful. Lock it again. All right. And then in this, we have, uh, let's click on the dropout here. Email to info at webskins.com. So I make, make sure it works. Stay on current page when we're done, or make a new page. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, let's do that. Let's go to websites. Um, make a, uh, let's take the contact page, and we're going to, let me see, let's, uh, let's open this as, uh, let's make this contact underscore thank you. Let's do that. And on the thank you page, We'll have our we'll get okay, some text and uh, thank you for contacting us. We will be getting back to you within twenty four hours. Gary Webskins. Okay, thank you for getting for contacting us. We'll be back getting back to you in 24 hours. What I like to do is I'll select that and I'll make the text bold and I'll make it a little bit bigger since it's the only thing on the page. And then I'll make the words a light get that gray here. There we go. And preview that. I get rid of those lines right there so it looks good. And I'm going to go a little bit lighter with the gray. Let's go with this gray. That's cool. I got to redo that background now, huh? Let's go to Photoshop and we'll go to this one right here. Actually, you know what we're, we can do is this. Let's go to our files. Let's, this is the image, right? I'm going to select that area and fill it in with white or whatever. The, what's this color? It's not white. Oh, it is a white. Okay. So I'm going to fill that in with white. There we go. And command D and I'm going to save it as file, save, export. I don't want to close it and save it because then it will save over the other one. So we need to rename this one something different and it's got to be a PNG 24. Make sure save because the sides are see-through. We're going to go to um, documents, websites, web skins, in images, and then I'm going to call this uh, body content. No, no verticals. No vert. Let's save that. Let's go back to Muse. Let's uncheck the layer. Let's all right. Instead of deleting this, I'm going to right click, replace image, body content, no vert. Oh, beautiful. Let's click on it, save it. Let's uh, turn on uh, the lock on that. Let's go to the contact page. Click on there. Uh, click on oh, unlock it. 
click on it, right click, replace image, bam, awesome. Oh no. How come it worked on the other one and not this one? Uh, let me see. Uh, let's go back. Control Z. Control Z. Let's uh, just delete it. And then file place. Body content. Drag it up here. Drag it down to go. And then press the shift. And there you go. And then preview. Let's see what that looks like. Beautiful name, email, message, submit. We can change the type to 18 bold. And uh, what's the font on the other ones? Let me see. Contact. Uh, the font is Arial. Okay. Contact. I'm going to write in Arial. Press enter. Arial. They all change it. Oh, that's great. And let's go with um, a little lighter color. Let's see. Is that the lighter color or is this a lighter color? Let's see. That worked. And I'm not worried about that right now anyway. Let's do file save site. And let me try this one more time. Let's see. Look at this. Stay on current. After sending, it's going to go to our contact thank you page. Wonderful. Standard email forms, email name. Uh, we want a CAPTCHA. Now here's the deal with the CAPTCHA. Uh, reCAPTCHA. The, the, the email form now works on third proprietary, uh, third party servers like GoDaddy and whatever server you want to put it on. But the CAPTCHA doesn't work on third party servers. So you either need to uh, figure something else out or put your stuff on Adobe servers for the CAPTCHA to work. And we want CAPTCHA as you learned with Dreamweaver and WordPress because you don't want spamming. So this is, uh, you know, this is for right now to do this, but after like a month or two, you want, you want to change this contact form. You don't want this contact form on your website. All right. So this is just <clears throat> a quick fix, but yeah, uh, add custom fields. Single line text. Now that's for now with um, use contact forms. We weren't even supposed. You weren't even supposed to be doing third-party servers for a while there. It had to be on an Adobe server. But I guess um, everybody was complaining to Adobe that the contact form didn't work on third-party servers. So the captured thing could work soon. So what are you going to do? You, know, you just got to do some research on it. Single line text checkbox. Uh, edit together. All right. Uh, name. Email, message, submit. Let's see if this works. Let's file, save site, and let's upload it. File, upload to P FTP, OK, and next, and OK, and ignore, and wait. Warning, connection to F uh, PHP file failed. Unable to check if the web server supports PHP needed by use forms. Use forms. Be sure the domain name entered in the FTP upload dialog box is correct. The content of the site can now be edited in a web browser. Try and yada yada yada. Um, click OK and we'll see if it worked. I don't know. You know, sometimes Muse tells you something doesn't work and then it does work and then sometimes, you know, whatever. You go to your website slash muse and see if it works. Let's click on contact. There it is. I'm going to put test and test at, um, I'm just going to leave test there. Let's see if it says something when I click submit. Ah, see there that. <laughs> at test dagon. And let's see if it goes to my thank you page. This server encountered an error. All right, so my server's not working, but if you guys are hooked up to GoDaddy, it'll probably work. I'm wondering if I should um, put this on my GaryDoofnerThesis.com because that's on GoDaddy. Hmm, good idea. I'm going to do that next. And I'm going to go into my server here, and I'm going to set this to GaryDoofnerThesis.com because I want to 
upload to GoDaddy, like I said. Forward slash. Uh, what did we do before? We did the, uh, oh, the WordPress we did on my Gary Doofman thesis.com. I'm going to put in my username and password to get into the server to upload content of the website, right? Let's get rid of that. Then that goes there. There we go. Can do it. www. Whatever. I don't know. We don't need to put the www. Right there. Let's go. Hey, WordPress is working. Good. Let's put the password in. Let's test it. See if it works. Awesome. Save. Save. Okay. So now I'm going to be uploading everything to Geridufna thesis. So go there, connect, let's right click, new folder called Muse. There we go. That's all I needed Dreamweaver for. <laughs> let's do a file upload to FTP host. Click OK and cancel that. We're going to put the one that comes before this one where I can put my name in and stuff. So let me click on switch count because it's going to the uh, webskins.com. That's not good. FTP. There we go. I'm going to put the password in. Come on. My old password for webskins. It's crazy. Click next. And make sure you had that forward slash Emma Muse. Click OK. Ignore. Let it upload. Form contact form is configured with an email address of which does not match the server name. Gary doing some hosting providers refuse to send emails from email addresses to a different hosts. If submitting your form does not send email as expected, change the first email address listed. In, okay. Connection to a, a PHP file fail. Enable to check if this web server supports. Oh man, this is crazy. All right. So this contact form might not work, but let's go to the website and let's refresh. Let's make sure. It up oh yeah, it uploaded. Great. All right. So let's go to the contact. Ooh, look at that. See, let's go to contact form. Website's working great. Just the contact form. Put a test, test at test.com. Oh, caps locked. And then test message. And then submit. For, whoa, hey, thank you for contacting us. We will be getting back to you within 24 hours. All right, it went through. Even though Muse said it wasn't working, it went to the contact you page, which is nice, right? Oh, we got to fix that right there. Look at that. Um, and let's go to my email and see if I was, if I got anything. Any new emails? There it is. Look at that. Name, test, email, test at test.com message. It works. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Okay, so let's fix that in the contact form now. Contact form. How come it looks crazy like that on your preview? Oh, it's the next page, not this one, right? It's the con contact. Thank you. There we go. Let me delete that. Go to contact page. Click on it. Uh, un unlock. Oh, it's unlocked. Good. Copy it and paste. See what happened? It went on the layer over it. Ha! I take it and drag it down to layer one. There we go. Lock it in. And save it. File. Save site as. We're going to save it in here. Yes, we're resaving over it. Okay, and then let's let's upload it again. You can do it this way. FTP host. Okay. Okay. Ignore. Let's do this. 
we know the email works, so I'm just going to refresh the page. And it works now. Yes. Excellent. All right, so our about our home page works. Uh, we got to make an about page. Our contact page works. Great.